How's it going everybody? It's me Shane and I'm here to give you another Digimon Ghost Game episode review and recap. Today's episode is episode 33, also known as Whispers of the Dead. So, before we go any further, I gotta whisper a little something to you. I won't whisper, I just need you guys to hit that like button, subscribe if you aren't, and please hit the notification bell to be notified of more videos just like this. Don't forget, I also want to hear from you, so leave a comment down below. So, this episode begins with Piccolomon, or Picklemon as they keep messing up and calling him, eating Gammamon's Psycho, eating that chocolate of his. And even Jellymon is going, can you guys be quiet? And at the same time, Kirishiro <clears throat> is also asking them to be quiet because it's all going on in his room. Well, now, uh, since uh, Pickle, Piccolomon has eating Gammon's food. Gammon's biting on him and biting on his wings. And he he's about to throw a bit bomb. Kirishiro has to double click on his watch. And they're back there in the uh, digital-ish world where the explosion goes off and Kirishiro's falling. Then he goes through a tunnel. Then he's in the field of flowers. Then all of a sudden he's in a black and white version of his room. And he's thinking to himself, am I dead? On top of that, he hears a voice, and this voice is calling out to him. It keeps calling him friend and everything else, and it's just, it's it's going all around him. Then all of a sudden, he's shocked, and he's back in the regular, regular digital world, where Piccolomon's being a jerk, saying, oh, you're a weak human. And Jellymon is like, yeah, you went too far. We had some good Jellymon in this episode. Just gonna preface that. But now, um, you know, Kirishiro's starting to hear this voice over and over again. Uh, he's, you know, he hears all of the laughing and even, he even looked up the tunnel and field of flowers. He's like, was I dead? Jellymon's like, I didn't hear anything. Don't worry about it. And so she goes out in her little jellyfish form. She goes out again irresponsibly. And he hears the voice, and it's talking about, you know, human, let's be friends, go through, cross the river, and he hears it right in his ear. And he's like, the voice is in my head. So now he gets an MRI, the doctor says nothing, goes to the uh, Tokyo University, I believe, where Mummy Mon is, and Mummy Mon's giving him an examination, like, can't really see anything that's going on, and all of his friends are there, all the whole crew is there. And even really, it's like, are you sure you're hearing anything? Because, you know, you could just have a lack of sleep. He's like, yeah, I'm not sleeping because I'm hearing all this and I don't, I, I'm afraid to. And <clears throat> uh, Mommy Mom says there's no lasting effects from the bit bomb. But he says, I do have this thing here. Uh, it's an ejection that calms the Digimon instantly because they don't want to repeat a Morphomon. But it puts you in the realm between life and death. But you feel excited while you're in this in this realm. No clue what that means at the moment. But Kirishiro's like, no, I'm not taking that. I don't want to go back to that place ever again. While Mummy Mon is convincing him, saying, hey, if you take it and you go there, you know that you're telling the truth. Well, now because of his lack of sleep, he's in you know company meetings, his company IT meetings, his work is slacking. He's walking down the street and he hears the voice again. And it's kind of taunting him, talking about, you know, three things happening. It tears. You know, we see the digital circles. It tears a sign down and almost hits him. He tries to run out, run across the street, and a scooter almost hits him. <laughs> so at this point, Hero's with him. Hero's on the phone talking to Rui. Saying, I, had, I had to navigate him to get to a station so I can meet him. I'm going to try to get him to the dorms as fast as possible because he's a wreck. And uh, Ruli and Agoramon are still with uh, Mummy Mon. And <laughs> she says, well, here's a list of the things that he heard the thing said. And they're just sitting there and they're thinking, they're listening, they're, they're, they're reading the words that were said. Meanwhile, while Hiro, uh, Kirishiro, Jellymon, and uh, Gammon are trying to cross the street, every time they try, the lights won't change. And Jellymon's like, well, we'll cross here. Well, we'll cross here. And they don't. It turns out they have to end up taking a long way around. So while they, while Ruli is showing this uh, words to them, my mom's going, hmm, could actually be 
dead, the dead that, that are speaking to him, but not dead humans, dead Digimon. He's like crossing the river, all this and that. And Ruli finally realized, she says, wait a minute, they're talking to a dead Digimon. And, and Gormon had to inform Ruli that my mind can also call upon the souls of the spirits of the dead and converse with them as well. <laughs> so she realizes what's going on, calls Hero and says, Hero, he's being chased. He's in danger. Uh, Kirishiro's in danger. In danger. It's too late. A little truck on the side in this back alley street. If you play a lot of Yakuza, you recognize this kind of street. It comes on, it comes to life, and it runs right into him, and bang. Ki uh, Kirishiro is back in that realm, falls through the tunnel, goes through the field of flowers, and now he's in the black and white street. The world between the world between life and death, and he's face to face with this Digimon. And I'll get to this in a moment. So, uh, Hero, they obviously called the ambulance. Dude, dude just got hit by a truck, right? He got isekai'd. So they're going to take him to the hospital. Well, it turns out that the hospital, there is a Betsuman that posed as a nurse. And they're like, well, what are you doing here? Because they're trying to bring him through. And one of the ER techs was like, well, you got to sign this. Doesn't sign it. He's like, I'm, Clockmon made me come here. Clockmon is forcing him to take, to uh, forcing the Betsuman to take them straight to Mummymon. Meanwhile, Kirishiro's face to face with this Digimon, and I'll just show you who it is. It is Sapikimon. Am I familiar with this Digimon? No, he does look fairly familiar. Look at that. So let's do some, let's talk about him. But uh, apparently, this Digimon showed up in the uh, Tamers movie, Digimon Frontier. Digimon Frontier showed a lot of armor forms. This is an armor Digimon. Uh, Digimon Savers. It was also in Digimon Adventure 2020 Reboot, and now it's in Ghost Game. But this is the first time we're getting an up-close-and-personal look of it. So this is a armor-level Digimon, which means it's between the strength level of a champion. Some some armor levels are the same strength as an ultimate. There's one that is the strength of a Mega, Magnamon. But this guy, he's, he's just regular armor level. He's an armor-level Demon Man Digimon that evolved through the Digimon Slow Friendship. Which explains why he keeps talking about friendship. Due to the power of a strange mass, is able to speak with the spirits of the dead. It usually lurks in the depths of the digital world's jungles and rarely even appears before others. According to one theory, it is said that Sapikimon never leaves the jungle because the spirits of the dead are its only friends and it has no living ones. If you hear voices speaking as though they were conversing, despite no one being there, in the digital world jungles, you better leave without doing anything. Otherwise, you might end up being one of Sapikimon's friends. Its special move is a cursed weapon that contains the spirits of the dead called Spirit Boomerang. It makes sport of the enemy with its ever-changing trajectory. Very, very accurate because it does this move a lot. So he's meeting with him. He's like, what do you want? He, and he's, and Sapikimon's like, I want us to be friends. And we get a confirmation that Sapikimon was there in the room before he got shocked. And was just all around him. Just like, just like he or she heard him. And right before he could grab him, that's when he got shocked and left. He's like, well, you're not going to leave this time. Because, guess what? <clears throat> Excuse me. Guess what? We're going to be friends. Unfortunately, the only way we can be friends, you have to die. And he's like, what? And another portal opens up. Because they're in the land between life and death. The river sticks is over. He's like, yeah, once you cross that river, we'll be friends. So now he's running for his life. Literally running for his life. Pardon me. Where am I at here? Pardon me. And so now, uh, Kirishiro, his body's with Mommy Mon. He's like, all his vitals are okay, but there's no sign of him waking up. It looks like his soul has departed. He's like, you guys need to start making your, saying your goodbyes now. And Jelly Mon's trying to shock him over and over again. And Mommy Mon's like, you gotta stop. There's nothing we can do. And Jellymon is just, she's sad. She's heartbroken. You know, her partner, her darling, is dying. Well, meanwhile, Kirishiro's running. The thing is playing hide and seek. He's breaking away. And since this world is more or less, it rem this world seems like a callback to when Kyrie went to the dark ocean, where it just looks like a beach that's just in black and white. 
Everything's in black and white except save for her with her muted colors. And then there's like an evil Digimon Cthulhu. This world, again, is not the digital world. It's someplace else. This seems like a callback to that because he runs and since he's in a reverse of town, runs into a convenience store, gets a uh, a two-way plug, you know, kind of like what's connected to this, connects his Digivice here to his phone because his phone has no reception for some reason, and he's able to make a phone call. And Hiro sees that Kirishiro's calling him, but Kirishiro's phone's on the table. And Jetamon's like, you need to just answer the phone. And Kirishiro's telling them, I'm running for my life. This is Digimon with the mask. It keeps telling me it wants to be my friend and it wants to kill me and send me to the River Sticks. Help me, please. Meanwhile, this thing has thrown that spirit boomerang so much as destroying stuff. It caught up to him and it got him and the phone call dropped. And then it takes a minute, but Mummy Mon and, and Goromon spill the beans. They know who this Digimon is, but they've got to figure out how to get to him. Because Hero says if he's able to call us, that means that he's in a place that is somewhat still connected to us. And then Jelly Ma, and then Mummy Mon has that MacGuffin, I call it the MacGuffin concoction, that puts a Digimon in between a uh, state of life and death, but it makes him excited on the other side. And when Hero was gladly going to take it, Jelly Ma said, no, it's for Digimon, I'm going to take it, I'm going to get my darling back. So he, Mummy Mon again tells her the effects, puts her on and says, be careful. She's there. And while she's there, she's getting, like, supercharged. She's like, I'm feeling powered up and ready to go. And she's in, she goes through the tunnel, through the flowers. She's now inside of the room, uh, the the in-between life and death room that Kiyoshiro was in the first time he was there. She breaks through the window and she's zipping off. Meanwhile, Sapikimon is pulling him, already pulled him into the water red and yellow spirit to tell him, oh yeah, you're going to join us and all this other stuff. And Kirishiro's tears. Like, this is probably one of the more horrifying episodes because it is very overt that this thing wants him dead, right? And the nick of time, Jellymon gets there, smacks a Pikimon and pulls Kirishiro ashore. And she says that, she said he is all, she says all three times, but he's all mine. That's my darling. She's supercharged and so she digivolves turns into tesla jellymon and of course the peaky is not having it he wants kirishiro to be his friend they fight and with her enhanced super excited abilities she does like a rider kick and breaks the spirit boomerang and as she's done breaking it she beats him up with a palm thrust captures him and says all right darling it's time to go back they make it back into the real world, and she successfully pulled Sapikimon. And Goromon's holding them, and, you know, she, he's like, well, what are, you, what, are you, what are you gonna do with this guy? And she's like, I brought him back here so I can give him some proper punishment. And they sit him down, and Goromon says, hey, just because you want to make friends does not mean that you should, that you are able to kill humans or Digimon. Don't do that. And Mummy Mon also uh, conveys, you know, the city in urban area is not a good place for a Digimon that's normally in the jungle. And Hero gets an idea. And as we see this stupid, fake, Rafiki Digimon dancing with other spirits, it looks like he's in a place that's near the water, might be a shrine area. And Goromon says his little poem, Human, 15 years, if they wander between life and death, it is the same as a dream. Wanting friends, but also to live. His face, you know, his face is in the corner while he's saying this, and we're seeing this guy dance. And now they have a new segment called, uh, oops, go back to my notes. This is the last thing in, called, uh, uh, I can't remember Hero's full name, but Hero's Study Files and Analysis. And it's him, it's them analyzing the Digimon. So instead of them doing in that episode, they're doing it here. And they just talk about it. What he does, what his level, his attack. Uh, it's a little bit of a comedy, kind of like the uh, the reboot 2020 Digimon adventure when they did the uh, Who's That Digimon? I like to call it Who's That Digimon at the end. And the lead Digimon or the Digimon that was involved kind of talks and they tell a little joke. You get Ruli telling Kirishiro, yeah, you should go to the land of the dead, blah, 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 blah. It was nice. 
I like this format. It's decent. It could be worse, but it's nice. I can see it being an alternative to keep the whole story flowing instead of just being like, oh, that's the Digimon. Let's talk about it. It's like, no, we know his name. We'll analyze him at the end. Uh, next episode, Lizard People. Quite literally, Gecko People. So another armor level Digimon again. I really wish these armor levels and champion levels were in the beginning where they were able to show off their champion forms a lot better as opposed to going after ultimates all the time. But yeah, this episode is a, it's a solid three out of five. It's a it's an average episode for this uh, for the series. Now, I have to say, I appreciate the come up for Jellymon in this. And I say come up not because of Digivolution because you all know Tetismon. My favorite ultimate of this season, and actually, I I I got I like Jellymon. Jellymon, you know, as a design and the Digimon is cool. Her princess child bratty attitude is annoying, but I like that in this. She even blamed herself when Kirishiro was almost hit by the scooter and the light. She says, "This is all my fault." She's like, "I should have believed him. I should have been with him." She needs to stop just randomly going off. Like, out of the three Digimon, Gammon's always with Hero, unless he's with Kirishiro, or with Ruli. Uh, so he's always with his partner. And Goromon is with Ruli most of the time, unless he has to go to his meetings and take care of things. And then you have Jellymon that's, like, always gone until she's not. She needs to rein it in and be more present, because it looks like Kirishiro needs her just as much as she needs him. Because she de she definitely cares about him. But that's my miniature analysis. Solid episode for her. I like it when we get more of these. She's involved and she's carrying episodes. Um, but it's just an average episode. Very spooky. You you felt, I genuinely was like, man, she needs to hurry up or he's actually going to die. And it, it you get the feeling it's, it's a little bit helpless. But it's, it's solid. It's a decent episode. Not spectacular. Not above average just right there and there's nothing wrong with that i've come to know what to expect with this series and this wasn't all that bad i just wish <sighs> i wish this was like episode 15 or 16 and not 33 because at this point in the game i want them to all have their ultimates and just start smashing and beating up these actual threats like uh, sipiki mod is that is not a Digimon to be trifled with. That is that is mad scary. Imagine if it chose to bring other humans in. It's kind of a good thing that they that it only messed with Kirishiro because that that could that could phew, killing Digi, uh, humans and Digimon and not bring not being able to bring them back. Oof. They're kind of lucky they didn't have to do all that. But please let me know what you thought of the episode in the comment section down below. Don't forget to give me a like. Subscribe if you haven't and hit the notification but hit the notification bell to be notified of more videos just like this. We're trying to get to that thousand subscribers, but we're so close to 200. I know we're going to go the distance, but as always, thank you for taking some time out to spend some time with me. Please be good, be blessed, wash your hands, wear a mask, be safe out there. Be good to yourself, be good to others. I way it goes. Don't be a jerk, and I will most definitely see you guys next time.